Okay, so time for Fanboy. entertainment news Fanboy. right Fanboy. here. And we start with this particular one. Stop forming stupid and unbelievable stories. Hey. Funke Akindele Belo. All right, Nigerian actress Funke Akindele Belo has a word for of advice for enter entertainers that according to her, form stupid and unbelievable stories just to look relevant. She took to our Instagram story to give our opinion about cloud chasers. Hey, good. She wrote, Stop forming stupid and unbelievable stories just to look relevant. If your colleagues bag endorsement deals, it's your time to shine. Yours is coming too. So don't feel less. Don't be pressured or all man gets in time. May our time never pass us by. Amen. Amen. Well, it's not clear who Funke Akindele is referring to now, but we can sure tell a lot of our Nigerian celebrities are on this Table. So with this post, um, I think that Funke Akindele is actually sobbing someone because I remember that during the Dubai time, um, she posted something that I reposted because I, I could relate and I was like, yeah, this is it. I mean, it's something about um, stop playing and um, stop forming, looking for unnecessary friendship and accolade, just be in your lane, do your own thing. At the right time, you know, um, people that would can resonate with you, what you do would find you. Just keep building your brand and stuff. And I just felt like, you know, word of advice because everybody was there to be in Dubai everybody was but, but when we were in Lagos they were putting Dubai location Dubai Dubai so, this is coming from people know. who have all been in Dubai this year oh. Amanda only and Harry Kep please I beg who you asked anybody you? want to talk no, about that's Dubai, not what we're you. talking about please. we're talking about Africa right okay, now okay let's talk about so, Asha I, I felt like that was just a normal post like yeah. I mean maybe because of the fact that a lot of people were just trying to beat themselves up because they wanted to be in Dubai yeah but with this one I'm like could it be that there's a particular person she's shading? I think it's possible that um, she's shading someone, but I think it's also possible that uh, it could, so maybe it's a build up of different people who have posted fake stuff and then maybe the last one just really upset her and she's like, nah, I have to speak about this. But I like it, I don't, I don't fully see it as shade. I also mm -hmm. see some advice there, exactly. which I mean, we talk about this all the time. Stuff you see on social media can make you crazy mm -hmm. and can make you just feel like, oh my gosh, am I doing things wrong in my life? Yeah. Why am I not in Dubai with the rest of the world? Mm. Dubai time will come for you. Amen. But, so I, I like that she wrapped it up by saying, look, your time will come. And it's important to know that we're all on different journeys. Yes, and look, don't absolutely. be pressured because because Erika is wearing Ghana dress. I'll go to Ghana tomorrow, right? I'll wear my own suit. <laughs> or Ghana person over there in that corner and who stuff. just came back last weekend. So, yeah. Okay, so I just think that, um, you know, she's just advising people. She <laughs> might be actually referring to one person. But one thing is, even the people who were putting it up when other people were in Dubai, I think some of them were just joking yeah, about Yeah, some people were in a they and, were, they and they were just yeah, joking. Yeah, they just wanted yeah. to make laughs out yeah. of this, like, oh, the whole of Nigeria is empty and, you know, and I, all that. I so I think that Ghana. one should just always see, like, oh, this is an advice. Just pick it. Yeah. Your own time will come. Mm -hmm. There is always time and season, so your time will come. Don't worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Fingers crossed. And I think it's a great way to, for those who think this is shade, it's a great way to do it where you can't point at anyone and then yeah. start saying, just keep Dude, it light and keep it general. Yeah, yeah, exactly. People are still crying about Dubai last month. There's, there's this, there's, that is December, there's December in Ghana. In Ghana, this one. So get your and Nigeria, location. Please. And Nigeria. Nigeria. Cardi is in Cardi town. Is in town. Yeah. Oh, yes. Cardi. And she oh, wants fish and jollof. In her words. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Jollof. Moving on. I'm done. Like, why are you talking like our sister? Sorry. <laughs> All right. Moving on. John Dumelo wants polygamy to be legalized in Ghana. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I'm more in Ghana. Okay. Ghanaian <laughs> actor and politician John Dumelo has called for the legalization of polyandry in Ghana, which is one woman being entitled to marry more than one husband. Now, he made this known in a now deleted Instagram post where he stated that most married men have women that they have affairs outside their house and their marriage, and these women perform the same duty as wives. Now he stated, and I quote, under customary law and Mohammed dance, law cap 129, a man can marry more than one woman. Under the marriage ordinance cap 127, a man is allowed to marry only one woman. If he marries more than one, he commits bigamy. Now I think it's time for that to be repealed. After all, most married men have side chicks and it's time to elevate them to wifey status because they perform the same duties. Now in the same vein, polyandry should be legalized for women to be allowed to marry more than one man. In a different twist, John Dumelo's wife weighed in by replying the now deleted Instagram post. And she says, equal rights indeed. Babe, hurry home and meet my new husband. <laughs> and I love it because Nigerian uh, well, African men, mm -hmm. they, they can men really, well, I don't know if it's the same abroad, but they can handle when, you know, it's them doing the cheating yeah. or it's them doing the side chick having, but when the <laughs> lady is doing it, that's why she's like, okay. 
Nice one, babe. Hurry home okay. and come and meet the new. Let's see how you react. But I, um, yeah, go for I, it. No, sorry. I just wanted to chip in something when you said. I, I saw a tweet where someone someone said something about women. Please, when we cheat on you, don't cheat back. It's more painful. Exactly. And I, I saw like, that. Wow. Double like, standards. Wow. But um, can you see yourselves having two two spouses? No. My like if it were if it were legal though no but if it were legal is it something like because I know men who say they could never I know men in this room who have more than one in this <laughs> room yes I know people in this, room. in this place who have more than one wife but that said they can handle the stress okay. but I know I also know people who you know say that ah, it's too much stress for me okay. so for you ladies so can you have is, more than one husband I, I just know that um, you can't love two people equally. equally yeah. There is mm. no how. I mean, there is a trick in there. You can really like one and then you like the other, but there will be something that you like more than, you know, and all that. Yeah. So I don't know how, and even to double date for me is even very it's stressful. stressful so I can really, really like Kunle, and then I see Wale, and then I go and call Wale Kunle. <laughs> and, and but like, I can be a mess. Listen, so they won't understand. <laughs> like, like, who is Kunle? Oh, no, my mechanic. That is wow. so stressful. And I believe it. But but what I really like that he said is the fact that you already have a lot of side chicks, chicks. anyway. And and I we talked about um, you know, Wayne's sin differently, like, oh, your sin is bigger than this sin. But it's really the same thing at the very core of it. If you're comfortable sleeping with someone else while you're married, why not just make it official and marry the person? And what yeah. that means is that don't think that, oh, ah, two wives care, that's wrong. Go, oh, but but you're fine to sleep with mm. her. It's, it's like so I like that. I think that was where he was coming from so with recently that. Recently I was watching a documentary and and it uh, was about um, Lamido Sanusi, the okay, Emir. Okay, yeah. And so they were talking about his forefathers, his father, grandfather, and then talked about him. So they were talking about concubines, the so wives and concubines. So with him, they said, four wives, no concubine. So now, if it feels like, okay, I like you, yeah. I marry you. Yeah, mm -hmm. right, and that's right, just so right. cool. Ah, On like Solomon the Hadji. Yeah. Yeah. So talking about this concubine thing, you know, Solomon in the Bible are like, there are wives, Solomon. Solomon. So it's, it's, I don't no. So you are with? I'm are you down with, for polyandry? No, 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 no. I definitely, no. of course not. I'm a one person. You know how okay, I am now. Okay. If it's one, it's one. All right. So I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. All right, cool, cool. But cool. there are so, some people that would want it. I yeah. mean, at the end of the day, you're already cheating on me. You're already, you know. You have a side chick that is already performing the wifey duties. Mm. So let me also do the same thing. And in the process, I might even find the second husband to be the one. And in a case where, you know, people say, um, but you not marry, when you find the love of your life after you are married, you know, you are waiting for the love of your life. That has not arrived. Hey, so why you, why you not find the manageable part, one? The you now can settle, no longer hold. You settle for one. Then after marrying that one, you now realize that, ah, I said this is the love of my life. Ha. You now marry that one. So for those people, they can't relate. May that not be your portion, no. Moving on, no. May that not be our portion, no. Amen. Amen. No, they have the world. Amen. They have the world. world. Right. <laughs> Moving on to our last story. And of course, we're still talking about marriages here and there. Justin Timberlake publicly apologizes to wife. Now, this story is tea, you guys. We'll talk about it in a minute. American singer Justin Timberlake has publicly apologized to his wife, Jessica Bill, after pictures surfaced online of him holding hands with his co-star, Alicia Wainwright, and his wedding band was missing from his finger, which got a lot of people talking, hmm. trust me. The singer who regrets the action tendered an apology via Instagram, letting people know that nothing happened between him and his co-star uh, co in the upcoming film, Palmer. He said, and I quote, or he wrote rather, a few weeks ago, I displayed a strong lapse in judgment but let me be clear nothing happened between me and my co-star i drank way too much that night and i regret my behavior i should have known better this is not the example i want to set for my son i apologize to my amazing wife and family for putting them through that embarrassing situation and i'm focused on being the best husband and father i can be this was um this was not that i'm incredibly proud to be working on palma looking forward to continuing to make this movie and excited for people to see it now in case you do not know just Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel tied the knot in 2012 and according to sources they had signed a contract specifying how they would divide their property if they ever got divorced. The contract holds Justin Timberlake financially liable if he were ever unfaithful, meaning he will lose half a million dollars if he strays. Hmm. JT's net worth is said to be $200 million as of this year. Okay. Hey. So this story got a lot of people talking, talking online. I'm sure you saw, I don't know if The Real or Wendy, I'm sure you must have seen one of them. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, it's of course, there is now the development of him apologizing, but everybody was going crazy. And there were a lot of people who talked about it that couldn't even show the pictures because you had to really pay for it. And it was really expensive because people didn't want it to get out. So. 
apparently, this was, so give me your hand. It was kind of like, you know, like that kind of holding situation. Oh, I even thought they were just walking together. Oh, no, 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 there was that holding. And I think there was another video where his hand was on her lap for some seconds, <laughs> for quite a while <laughs> in, in pop culture <laughs> time. It, 10 seconds was like a year. <laughs> On her wow. thighs, it was too long for them. People straight. And yeah, People and, straight. and so I, I really like this couple, Justin Timberlake yeah. and Jessica Biel. I think they're so cute, and I really read Justin Timberlake. But you know, online people were like, "Oh, did he cheat on Britney that year? Oh, he, he's known to be a okay, cheat." Okay, so people that, make mistakes, and we are yeah. human beings, and mm -hmm. that's why we're human beings. And I just love the fact because after reading all the story, I'm like, okay, so it's finished. Like he he's understood his yeah. mistake, and then he already said that. Well, he'll mm -hmm. never do this, and he actually takes responsibility. Yeah. For exactly. this, which I totally and I like the fact that you know you can stray and then you remember that oh okay so then I you, have money to pay I, but the problem so sometimes it's not it's about, it's not the, about money. the money to pay right. because sometimes you are really fed up of a particular person and you don't care if the money goes you just exactly. want your piece of money because how much is two million in two hundred and something yes. million well, I think uh, I think I, I love their relationship and I think there is no cause for alarm yeah. I just want I think to so, so as well I yeah. mean for the fact that he's come out to take responsibility first, first I mean. I mean, first of all, when you want to apologize to a person, take responsibility for your actions, apologize, and then, you know, promise that you can, things would be better. So he's done the three, and I feel like this apology should be accepted. Awesome. You know? It's not a marriage. It should be on would not be. Let's just hope <laughs> that she accepts it, and if she does, then I, said, I think I that's think the most important. Should. I don't know. Well, who asked for that? I think you look particularly beautiful. Oh, thank you, guys. Stop. You know, I love this popping. Uh, oh, melanin on, on your skin, Dark. yeah. <laughs> That's my color. Okay, She's glowing. Moving on, guys. <laughs>